In 1860, the United States presidential election was more than a political competition. It was a high-stakes game for the future of the country. The issue of slavery was highly political. While abolitionists across the country opposed the practice, many thought it should continue, particularly in the South, where slavery was integral to the economy. This disagreement threatened to tear the nation apart. In 1858, a Senate race in Illinois captivated the country when a series of seven highly politicized debates between incumbent U.S. Senator Stephen A. Douglas and his challenger, a lesser-known former U.S. congressman named Abraham Lincoln, pushed the issue of slavery to center stage. Lincoln argued for preventing slavery's expansion into new states like Kansas, while Douglas insisted that each state should be allowed to decide for itself. Douglas won his Senate seat again, but the debates elevated both candidates to national prominence. Four presidential candidates, each with different views on slavery and secession, captured the spotlight in the 1860 election. In the midst of these divisions, anti-slavery number crunchers in the Republican Party did the math and decided Lincoln had a chance if he could attract electoral votes in swing states like New Jersey and Pennsylvania. On election day, voters headed to the polls across the nation and waited with bated breath for the results. In a historic upset, Lincoln secured nearly 40% of the popular vote and 180 electoral votes, far exceeding the requirements for victory. Yet, despite his triumph, dark clouds loomed ahead. Six weeks later, South Carolina voted to secede from the Union, setting off a chain reaction among other Southern states who were worried that ending slavery would destroy the Southern economy and jeopardize states' rights. In the aftermath of the 1860 presidential election, the country was split in two. It would take a long and bloody civil war and the ratification of three constitutional amendments to unite it once again. How did the election of 1860 contribute to the onset of the civil war?